Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Ratsanasan and today we are reading Judges, um, Judges 11 through 14, but we are going to focus on chapter 13. This is the story of Samson's parents and their interaction with the angel of the Lord and how the angel of the Lord declared Samson's birth. Now, not only is this just a really cool story um, of the divine interaction, we learn a lot from Samson's parents, the way that they reacted, the questions they asked, and even the way that they gave glory and honor to God. We even get to learn a little bit about Samson's dad. He was a tad bit dramatic after realizing that he had seen God. And of course, his wife um, was calm, cool, and collected as usual, right? I just think that part's so funny. But what stuck out the most to me was when Samson's dad, Manoah, inquired of the Lord. We see this first in um, verse 8. When then Manoah prayed to the Lord, Pardon your servant, Lord, I beg you to let the man of God you sent to us come again to teach us how to bring up the boy who is to be born. Then God heard and he said in verse 9, God heard Manoah and the angel of God came again to the woman. Now, when he appeared, the woman ran to get Manoah and said, the man is back. And um, when Manoah comes back, he says, when your words are fulfill fulfilled, what is to be the rule that governs the boy's life and work? The angel of the Lord answered, you, your wife must do all that I have told her. And then verse 14, it lists what those things were. Now, a side note about all of this, um, speaking of um, Manoah, it kind of makes me laugh because if I was the wife, I'd be like, do you not believe everything that I saw and told you? Because up to this point, every single thing that the wife has said and done, Manoah does it again to confirm it. You know, so first the angel of the Lord appeared to the wife. The wife reports exactly what she saw and heard. But Manoah asked the Lord if the guy could come back. And he does. And then the wife tells the husband, hey, the man is back, and Manoah comes running, and he asks the man, are you the man? And he says, I am. And then Manoah asks, how is he to be raised? And the angel of the Lord says, I told your wife, right? That's not exactly how it was. But the angel of the Lord, he's so kind and patient with Manoah. But if I was the wife, I'd probably be rolling my eyes saying, I told you so, right? <laughs> but really, let's move on to verse 17. Then Manoah inquired of, the, um, inquired of the angel of the Lord, what is your name so that we may honor you when your word comes true? Now, although I get caught up in um, how Manoah hasn't listened to his wife and he needs affirmation for himself, the things that I do love is one, Manoah believes all that he hears from the angel of the Lord. He doesn't say if this was to happen, but when it happens. He believed that it will happen. And what the angel of the Lord says is truth. There's no doubt or what if. When the angel of the Lord says it, it is done. I love that about Manoah. Manoah also inquires of the Lord, as I mentioned. He wants the assurance and he and his wife, that he and his wife will be raising um, his son the way that the Lord desires. And this should be our greatest desire for all of us who have children or any of us who are leading, shepherding, raising, influencing others, to seek the Lord and to inquire of his desires. When we seek the counsel of God, he reveals his heart and he directs us in every situation that we come across. Now, however, how much we inquire or whether we inquire, it's all our choice to make. When we inquire of the Lord and follow him in all we do, we can be confident that we are living according to his desires, his heart, and our, deci our decisions are based upon him rather than us. And an interesting note is that despite Samson's parents seeking and following the Lord, we know that Samson messed up. He messed up time and time and time again, a whole lot. He broke his vow often. But if we remember Philippians 2 verses 12 through 13 says, each of us individually work out our own salvation for it is God who is at work in you, both to desire and to work for his good pleasure. So although Samson didn't live um, as he should, his parents still sought and inquired the Lord as to what they should do and how they should raise them, him. 
And so our desire should be that we only want to do what the Lord wants. We only want to be where the Lord wants us to be. We only gain that confidence, knowledge, wisdom by asking, inquiring. And so more than likely, this um, situation probably won't play out in our lives the way it did that Samson's parents um, experienced. However, God is the same today as he was then. He desires to meet with us. And as we inquire, he can reveal. And so there's just three quick thoughts on seeking and inquiring the Lord. One, we begin with assurance, knowing that when we call upon the Lord, he answers. We see in Psalm 18:6. It says, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and and cried to my God for help. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry for help before him came into his ears. We have that assurance. Number two, we lay down our desires and we pick up his desires and how he leads. Psalm 25, 9, it says, he leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. And so we lay down our desires and we pick up his. Number three, um, remaining intentional of, in our pursuit of him. We can only inquire of the Lord if we are intentional. And so Psalm 63, 1 says, O oh God, you are my God. Early I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. And so I just encourage you, what we can do as parents, what we can do as caregivers is to inquire of the Lord. And inquire the Lord of every situation, whether it's regarding parenting or not. And just to know that when we call upon the Lord, he answers. When we lay down our desires and pick pick up his, um, he's going to show us his way. And third, when we remain intentional in our pursuit of him, he desires that, he honors that, and he will meet with us. And so today, I hope you guys have a great day and that you inquire of the Lord.